What's happened here, Mrs Goggins? These can't all be for Greendale. Aye, Pat, you're right. There's been a mix-up in Pencaster. They've sent over all their post, muddled up with ours. Oh, dear. I've managed to sort a few out for you to be going on with. These are for the cafe. Right you are. I'll get these delivered, then I'll come back and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, I don't know how we're going to get these sorted in time. Don't worry, Mrs Goggins. We'll find a way. <gasps> UFOs! Yes, unidentified flying objects from outer space. Flying saucers? Yes. Aliens use them to fly around in. And I want to be the first person in Greendale to photograph one. Like Captain Zap catching aliens. Yeah! We could find a Martian. Discover a great green wild enormous... Oof! Tree! Ow! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, let's get started. Hello, Nisha. Hello, Ted. Thanks, Pat. What's this? Morning, Pat. It's my latest invention, is this? A washer sorter machine. Oh! <gasps> it's a revolution in technology. Two settings, see? Sort and wash. But they're still dirty, Ted. Oh, uh, right. Must be a blockage in the water feed. Nicely sorted, though, eh? Hmm. Good job something's getting sorted today. What's the matter, Pat? The Pencaster office have mixed up the post. Poor Mrs Goggins is trying to sort it all out. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm on my way to the post office now to get some stamps. I can give her a hand. And by the time you're back, this place will be spotless. Thanks, Ted. Uh, just the plastic dishes in the machine, though. Righto. See you later, Nisha. Bye, Ted. Hang on, Pat. I just need a hand with me water feed before you go. Well, uh, I ought to be getting back. It won't take long. Put that in the top of the machine, could you? <coughs> By heck, I forgot to turn the tap on. Nothing's coming out this end, Ted. Any good now? Hmm. Must be someone blocking it. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Oh, goodness me. We've got to keep our eyes open for anything strange. I don't think there's anything. Look! Wow! What's that? A diamond-shaped space cruiser. Just like Captain Zaps. Wow! Wow! What? Maybe there'll be aliens in the space cruiser. I bet they'll be controlling it. I don't think aliens are controlling it. Uh... <laughs> Unless Lucy's an alien. <laughs> That should do it. Thanks, Pat. Right you are, Ted. Come on, Jess. Meow. Aren't you good to stay and see it in action? Space Age technology is this. Sorry, Ted. we got to get back to Mrs Goggins. OK, I'll have these plates all done in no time. Cheerio. Meow. Hello. What are you three up to? Meow. Hello, Dad. We're looking for UFOs. UFOs? <laughs> In Greendale? 
unidentified flying objects. UFO Gazette says they can be anywhere, anytime. We want to get a picture of one, if we can. The only unidentified objects I know about are in the post office waiting to be sorted. Are you coming, Jess? <coughs> Joining in the UFO hunt, are you? <coughs> <laughs> well, watch out for aliens. Bye. <coughs> Bye, Bye, Piper! <laughs> UFOs in Greendale. <laughs> Whatever next. There you are, Pat. We've managed to sort a few more letters for you. Thanks, Denisha. One for Reverend Timms and one for Ted Glenn. Thanks, Nisha. Sorry to have been so long. I was giving Ted a hand with his washer sorter. How is he getting on? Don't worry. He'll have your dishes spotless with that machine of his. <coughs> that should do. Now, just put the soap in... Oops! Oh well, plates will be nice and clean with all that soap on them. Right, no UFO sightings in the church. And nothing outside PC Selby's house. Aliens could be anywhere. There might be a three-headed Martian. Or an alien from Beetlejuice. Or a... Uh... Um... Oh, an alien cat man. <gasps> Quick, take a picture. <sighs> Jess! The alien cat. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing very well, are we? Where haven't we looked yet? Um, the station. Come on, then. Let's go. Here you are, Reverend. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Thank you, Pat. Go in peace. Hmm. Must have put in too much soap. Now, let me see. Hey, no need for that. Ow! My egg! Meow, meow. What's that? Meow, meow. Unidentified noises! Meow, meow. It's coming from the cafe. By gum. Better do summit. Nisha won't be pleased. funny feeling about this. Do you speak our language? Jess! <sighs> we come in peace. Over here, everyone. Oh, oh, what's this? It's a... Uh... Space pod. An alien bubble man. Alien dead Glenn, more like. Ted? I had a spot of bother with me soap mixture. Oh, no. Mr. Glenn? Oh, what a mess. Oh, we. We saw a, 
a flying saucer. So did I. They're all over the place. Ah, uh, it was the washer sorter machine. The wash. Oh, no. I'm right sorry, Nisha. Don't worry, Ted. I'll soon wash the dishes. It's a shame, though. Aye. It worked fine before I put the water in. That machine could sort anything. Oh, I wish it could sort the post. I'm afraid I left Mrs Goggins with lots left to do. Hmm, that's an idea. Yes. Come on, Ted. Dry that machine out. We've got work to do. So have I. Flying saucers everywhere. We can help. We're experts at hunting flying saucers, aren't we? Oh, that'll be wonderful. I'll be back soon, Julian. <laughs> See you, Nisha. Oh, dear. Do you think it can take it, Pat? Don't worry, Mrs Goggins. Ready, Ted? In the go, Pat. <laughs> Ta-da! It worked! <laughs> I said it would sort anything. Mrs. Goggins. That's terrific. We couldn't have done it without you, Ted. Come on, Ted. Let's see how they're getting on at the cafe. Oh, well done, everyone. You might not have found any UFOs, but you have found all Nisha's plates. Looks like there aren't any flying saucers in Greendale after all. Oh, yes, there are. As a thank you for clearing up all the plates, I've made a special Greendale flying saucer cake, huh? just for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Mum. Congratulations, Charlie. You're the first person in Greendale to take a picture of a flying saucer after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, dear. There we go. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Good morning, Julian. Good morning, Pat. Mo morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, Pat. Are you all right? You don't look too good. I'm fine. Just a bit out of breath, that's all. I've been cycling. Oh, I see. I'm helping Dad train, Mrs. Goggins. We're playing five-a-side football later. Oh, that sounds like fun. I think I'll come along to cheer you all on. Oh, I could bring you all a wee snack for half-time. That would be grand, Mrs. Goggins. Brilliant! Can I go down to the field to practice with Charlie? Of course you can. Thanks, Dad. See you at the game. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Julian. Now then, Pat, I've got your post bag all ready for you. I'll just put these last few letters in. Oh! Oh, dear. Mm, there's a lot more post than I thought. I'm going to have to deliver these double quick if I'm going to get to the football in time. Aye, Pat, you don't want to miss that. See you later, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Good luck. Oh. Meow. oh dear. We're not going to get very far in this, are we? Meow. Come on, Jess. In you get. We'll have to deliver the post by bicycle today. I hope we'll be finished in time for the football match, Jess. Come 
on, Charlie. Let's get started. Yes, in a minute, Dad. Hello, Mr Pringle. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Julian. Are you going to get some football practice in? Yeah, I can't wait for the game later. Uh, what, what are you doing, Charlie? Shouldn't you be practising? I am, I am. I, I'm working out the angles of the ball. What for? So that we know the correct angle to kick the ball in order to score a goal. It's a precise spot, you know. Right. Here, Julian. Why don't you have a kick about while I make some goal posts? There. These bags will do for now. Come on, Julian. Give it your best shot. This cycling lark isn't as bad as I thought. But I'll need to go faster if I'm going to get all this post delivered in time. Hold on, Jess. Watch out, Pat! Ah! Help! Oh! oh, my goodness. Are you OK, Pat? Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, no. My letters. Oh, poor Jess. Are you OK? I'm so sorry. I was in such a hurry I didn't look where I was going. It's OK. I'm just pleased you're not hurt. You see, I'm trying to get finished so that I can make it to the football game in time. That's where we're going too. Come on, Pat. We'll help you pick up the letter so you can get going again. Which side do you think the ball will go? Oh, hold on, Dada. I, I, I'll just work it out. Oh. Oh. Yes! Go! That side. <coughs> mm. oh. Uh, sorry. Clifton! 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 <coughs> Jess! <sighs> Good save, Pat. Thanks. That was close. I'm sorry mm. I gave you both such a fright. See, I'm helping Dad get fit for the football game. Hello, Pat. <laughs> Hello there, Arthur. Dad, you're slacking. <laughs> this whistle is great. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. <sighs> Up we go. Down again. <sighs> right up. <sighs> <laughs> oh dear. Maybe the whistle wasn't such a good idea after all. I don't think I'm cut out for all this running around. Hmm. But with all your police training, bet you'd make a great referee. Yeah, referee. Now that sounds more like it. Julian and Charlie are practicing down at the field. Why don't you go and join them? Thanks, Pat. I will. See you later, Dad. So what position will you be playing, Pat? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't mind as long as I get there in time. Oh, thank you. I'd better be off. Cheerio. Cheerio, Pat. <laughs> oh, what's it? Oh, 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 Dad! Oh, oh. Ow. Oh. 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 oh, Dad, stop it! We am sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops! Dad! Whoops, sorry, Charlie. Hi, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hi, everyone. What's that you've brought? My dad's traffic cones. I thought we could use them to practice dribbling the ball. Perhaps now Dad won't keep knocking me over. Ah, we. I'm not that bad. Come on, then. Let's set them out. Now. Where did I put mission bads and goalposts? Oh, 
Oh, dear. How on earth am I going to get through all those sheep? My beach ball! So that's where it went. Amazing, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. Uh, 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 oh, Charlie! Hold on, I'll just be a minute. If I put that one like that. Come on, Charlie. That one like that. I want to have a go too. Yeah, we haven't got all day. I have to make sure they're the right distance apart. Oh, dear. We're running out of time, Jess. The game will be starting soon. <coughs> oh, there's nobody here. Where could they be? <coughs> ah, there they are. I'll have to catch them. This letter might be important. Oh, no. A flat tyre. That's all I need. Sit tight, Jess. Nisha, your post. Oh, thank you, Pat. You're welcome. Wow, Mum! Look at Pat go! Oh, Jess, I think delivering post is turning out to be a lot more tiring than a game of football. <coughs> Come on, everyone. Time to split into teams. Uh, OK. Um, let's see. Dr Gilbertson, Sarah, Lucy, Charlie and Jeff. You can be in one team. And, uh, Nisha, Mira... Bill and Julian, you can be in the other. But where's Dad? We can't start without him. <sighs> oh, dear. It's too late now, Jess. They'll have to start the game without me. Aww. Right, then. <clears throat> Dr Gilbertson, I need you to keep an eye on Julian. Right, or Charlie. And Sarah and Lucy... Watch out for me going wide to pass the ball. Yeah, OK, okay. Charlie. And, Dad, you've got to stop the ball from going into the net. OK, son. Is everyone ready? Uh, not yet. Uh, we need to do our warm-up exercises first. Uh, mm. oh. oh, come on, Dad. Where are you? Come on, Jess. We can do it. <whistles> Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Ooh. Well, I never. <laughs> I said I would, didn't I?
It's a good game. Well played. We couldn't have done it without Dad. Yes, Pat. When did you learn to play like that? <laughs> Delivering the post today turned out to be the best football training I could have had. Definitely. You were the best. Hooray! <laughs> ah, thank you. I needed that. Thirsty work being a postman on a day like this. Now then, these are for the station cafe, and there's Dr. Gilbertson's magazine to deliver. Right you are, Mrs. Goggins. Are you going to the picnic this afternoon? At Ted Glenn's? I hope so, if I get this lot delivered in time. Good luck, Pat. Cheerio. Off we go, Jess. Here's the post, Nisha. Thank you, Pat. Have you got much more to deliver? Quite a lot. Poor Jess. <clears throat> it's too hot for him. Mmm, they look good. Pat, they're for the picnic at Ted Glenn's this afternoon. Come on, then, Jess. The sooner we get these letters delivered, the sooner we'll be able to find a nice shady spot and relax at the picnic. <clears throat> <laughs> I think you're on your own today, Pat. Ah, well. Cheerio. Pat! Before you go, could you take this over to Dead Glen? He phoned this morning asking for sugar. What does he want all that for? He's built an ice cream making machine. He's promised all the children ice cream this afternoon. Ice cream? Hmm, that sounds good. No problem. Ted's house is next on my round. That's it. Now then, let's put some mixture in and give it a test run. Now then, where's the lead? What's he doing? It's an ice cream maker. He's going to make us all ice cream. I love ice cream. What's your favourite flavour? I like chocolate. I like blackcurrant. Do you think it's ready yet? This should work. Just plug it in and switch. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you all right, <laughs> Mr Glenn? Well, lad. Um, now to worry about. Be up and running in no time. Looks like we're going to have to wait a bit longer for the ice cream. Come on, let's go and see what other things we can find to put in it. Good idea. Hmm, electric's gone. Now what am I going to use to power it? Pat! Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Just the bloke I was hoping to see. Hello, Ted. Here's your sugar. How's the ice cream going? I've had a spot of bother with the electric. I reckon you can help. Of course. What do you want me to do? I fused the lights in the house so my power supply's broken. I thought we could use your van to power the ice cream maker. Well, I don't know. I've got to finish my deliveries. It won't take long. Oh, all right, then. Here you are. Thanks, Mrs Thompson. These will make great ice cream. Who's got ice cream? Ted Glenn's built an ice cream maker. We're collecting things to put in it for the picnic this afternoon. I know what's good in ice cream. Cherries. Reverend Timms has got a cherry tree in his garden. Uh, let's go and ask him if we can have some. Good idea. Bye, Bye. Mrs Thompson. Bye, Mum.
That should do it. I'll go and start the van, then. Give me a shout when you're ready. <whistles> ready, Ted? Ready. The lid. Hang on, Pat. Stop the van a minute, will you? What was that, Ted? Shall I give it a bit more power? Big Pat, turn it off! <laughs> Oi! What's the idea? Where did that come from? Sorry, Ted, I, I couldn't hear you with the engine on. Too much power, Pat. The ice cream's gone everywhere. I don't know who it's have got. Oh, heck. Using a dangerous machine close to a public highway. Obstructing an officer during his work. Throwing missiles at an officer of the law. It's a very serious. Mmm, strawberry. Mmm. Uh, uh, very serious. Uh, this uh, won't do. Uh, won't do at all. Mmm, tasty. Strawberry ice cream, PC Selby. Ted's made an ice cream machine for the picnic. That's helping me to get it running. I can see that. His van was a bit too powerful for the job. I can see that as well. We'll have to try something else. I know. PC Selby's bicycle. You can't use that. That's an official vehicle, that is. You wouldn't want the children to go without ice cream, would you? Oh, they're all looking forward to it. It's the picnic in a few hours. Hmm. Here you are, my dear. Cherry ice cream, eh? Mmm, marvellous idea. Thank you, Reverend Timms. See you later. Walnuts are delicious in ice cream. And highly nutritious, too. That's great. Thanks, Dr. Gilbertson. Look, Mr. Pringle gave me some toffees. Let's go and see what we can find in the cafe. Do you think the ice cream machine's ready yet? Blimey. Oh. Oh. This is hard work. <gasps> Why don't one of you two have a go? It's not getting cold at all. We need more power. It's never going to be done at this rate. And it's Perfect ice cream weather. Just look at that sun. The sun, that's it. Ted, have you still got those solar panels? Oh, they're out the back. Well, solar panels make electricity from the sun, don't they? We could use them to power the ice cream maker. Good idea, Pat. I wish I'd thought of that myself. Phew. So do I. What have you found, Mira? Bananas and chocolate. Brilliant. Everyone can have a different flavour now. What about Jess? Maybe we could get Ted to make some ice cream for him as well. Wow. I wonder what flavour he'd like. Maybe banana. Don't be silly. Cats don't like bananas. How about jelly? I know what he would like. Come on. Meow. That should do it. Let's go and test it out. What do you want them for? It's a uh, surprise. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. That's the last of the strawberries. Let's hope it works this time. How long does it take? About half an hour, I reckon. That'll give me just enough time to finish my deliveries. I'll give you a hand. What about the machine? Maybe PC Selby could be in charge. Well, I... It's cooler in here than outside on your bike. Um, I suppose I could keep an official eye on it. Uh, make sure no one steals the ice cream. <sighs> Everything in order. Maybe just a little rest. Forty winks.
Goodbye, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Finished. How are we doing for time? Grand. Ice cream should be ready when we get back. Mm. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Me ice cream. And next time it will be a parking ticket. I am. Oh, no. Never mind. We can clear this up and start again. Let's get a move on then. It's not long till the picnic starts. We've got heaps of stuff. Yeah. We've got something for everyone. That should definitely work this time. Now then, cream, sugar. Oh, no. What's wrong, Ted? I haven't got any more strawberries. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Mr Glenn. We've got loads of other ingredients. Like bananas. And cherries. And walnuts. By gum, I reckon you kids have just about saved the day. Right. Which flavour first? I like toffee myself. It's the only thing I really like. Mm. Banana and toffee, then. Let's do banana and toffee. Uh, banana and toffee first, please. Right you are. What's in here? No, Dad. That one's a surprise for someone very special. <laughs> Cherry flavoured. Delicious. Walnut and chocolate? Oh, Would you like to try some, Pat? No, thank you, Jeff. I'm waiting for the special surprise flavour. Here you are, young man. Thanks. It's ready! <gasps> this is the one I wanted to taste. But, Dad! The special surprise one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not meant for people, Dad. It's a special ice cream. The Jess. <laughs> Sardine flavour. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a letter? Yeah.